Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it's the 19th day of uh, January, and I'm glad you're here this morning. 60 degrees as I make this at 4 o'clock in the morning, and dense fog could be an issue for some of you on your way into work this morning. Keep that in mind. Obviously, we have important stuff to talk about. Multiple waves of severe weather beginning tonight across the area and continuing into the weekend with a little break in between. Tonight's severe weather uh, event is relatively low-end event. There could be some damaging wind gusts and some warnings uh, and maybe a brief spin of tor tornado or two. But I think the stronger dynamics for severe weather come over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And it could come in three waves. We could see severe weather as early as first thing Saturday morning. And then depending on how things uh, play out, maybe another round Saturday afternoon. And then maybe the most concentrated round, perhaps Saturday night into Sunday. It's a complicated situation. I'll break it down for you over the next two minutes. And uh, you can share this video if you wish. There's also excessive rainfall in our future as well. On the weather map this morning, see the low pressure area north of Lake Charles. That's today's weather maker. Storm system number one, bringing the showers and storms in later on, especially by the afternoon. Here's future radar, the showers and storms increasing during the afternoon hours and especially into the early evening. The final frame on this is at 6 o'clock tonight, and you can still see some strong storms over in Mississippi. So a long night ahead with a marginal risk of severe weather covering most of the state today. The main threat is going to be damaging wind gusts, but we can't rule out an isolated weak tornado or two. Mainly, of course, the threat is to this evening and tonight. But for today, afternoon showers and thunderstorms developing with a high around 75. Tonight's low down to about 60. South winds around 6 to 12 miles per hour. We do get a little break in the action tomorrow. Here's noon Friday. Storm system number one is going and then storm system number one is developing out to the west of us. And by I think f uh, first thing Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, we could already see some strong storms in the state. In fact, we're going to have to be ready first thing, uh, first thing on Saturday morning. As a matter of fact, the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe weather even Saturday morning uh, through 6 a.m. as far east as Montgomery and a slight risk in southwest Alabama. That's through the 6 a.m. hour. And for the day Saturday, the slight risk covering uh, most of the states south of, let's say, the I-20, I-59 corridor uh, with, with the risk of severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Saturday night, another round of showers and thunderstorms. So we could see multiple rounds uh, Saturday morning, maybe Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Noon Sunday, still some uh, strong storms possible, but I think the best dynamics for severe weather will start to pull away from the state. Monday, windy, colder, back behind this storm system with a few showers left over, but the severe weather threat will be gone by then. So we have temperatures in the low 70s, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, with overwhelming rain chances each day. 50% chance of showers, highs only in the 50s on Monday. Day, and then maybe uh, spiking back into the 60s as we get into Tuesday of next week. Rainfall totals could be excessive. We're looking at uh, some places uh, across the Gulf South, three to four inches, some places more than four inches. Uh, so, you know, a lot of rainfall, which is going to help our drought situation. Here's one uh, model idea, the GFS showing 3.2 inches around Montgomery, four inches around Auburn, 2.6 around Dothan. You get the idea. So the European trend over the next 10 days, the blue bars at the bottom indicate the storm system tonight. And then the other blue bars, Saturday and Sunday storm system with some leftover showers Monday. Then you see a big drop in temperatures late next week. We've been talking about that for a long time. That's the end of the month. A huge drop. For, you can see the, the actual numbers. So that's going to be... The change a lot of people have been expecting and looking forward to, uh, the change to colder weather again. Meanwhile, the uh, European out 16 days also confirms that. You see the big drop late next week and then a cooler trend as we get into late in the month and into uh, February. In fact, those numbers may be a little underdone. It may be colder than that. Hey, your weather app is going to be your best friend over the next few days. We'll be able to send you push notifications. You'll automatically get watches and warnings. Hourly forecast radar, of course, is going to be very important, plus all of our videos video and blog uh, updates will be on your weather app. So get it today and please let your friends know about it so they can get it on their phone or tablet. So obviously I'll stay on top of this for you. There'll be a live update from the Blue Water Weather Center at 11 o'clock this morning with uh, brand new information from the Storm Prediction Center, new model data, data, new future radar. You can get that on your app in the YouTube tab, uh, the 11 o'clock update. Plus it's also available obviously on YouTube at Rich Thomas Weather. And it's also available at richthomasweathernetwork.com, all right? So that's where you can see your live 11 o'clock briefing. Now, there'll be, of course, updates on your app, uh, push notifications tonight. Watches and warnings automatically appear on your app 
and I can also send you messages if I need to as well. Plus, that's where you get your blog and your videos, and there'll be another video, of course, in the morning as we update the uh, severe weather situation for the weekend. All right, have a great day. I'll see you on the radio this morning, and we'll stay on top of this, okay? Rich Thomas Weather.